Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for beginners. Today is a part two of the series and in today's episode we will learn how to do install. Um, we'll learn about installation of ExpressJS in our project. For your learning purpose, I'm going to start from scratch to show you how simple, how easy it is to get your ExpressJS application up and running. Let's get started. All right, so to the first step uh, towards installing is to make sure that you have the correct uh, node and the NPM versions installed on your machine, right? So let's get that. So I have, I'm taking a blank folder. It doesn't have any files yet. So let's go here and type NPM hyphen hyphen version. Make sure that you have um, advanced and at least the latest minus one max, which means you should be either on the current version, which is I am on 14, uh, or you can be on the last table, which is 12, right? Uh, similarly for NPM, it should be more than 3.x. So make sure that you are on compatible versions. That's basically, so most of the times you will get errors because you're not compatible here. So once you have checked the Node.js and uh, Node and NPM version, uh, the next thing we'll need is since we'll be updating and uh, monitoring the code changes, right? So we'll install something called npm install node mon, right? So what this does is it's a small little utility tool which will help us to auto refresh the code every time we make a change, right? Since it is backend, it is not Angular. Um, so what happens is when you make a change, we have to hit refresh every time or stop stop the service and then start the ExpressJS service. Instead, now it will do it for us, okay? So once we have done that, the third step is to initialize the NPM, right? So we'll do NPM init. So once you have do it, done it, uh, package name is ExpressJS tutorials. Package name again, you can give the same express node version 1.0.0 description this is arc tutorials express js code index dot so this is our uh, main starting point so i'm giving uh, git repo keywords just just ignore all of this and for now you can just hit enter and you should see a file here which should say package.json and all of that details that we just wrote will go here all right so this is a simple thing that we want. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to install, install, uh, install express, right? npm install express. So now you'll see it would get added in our package.json. That's as simple as that. It, okay, so alternatively, if you want to make a local copy, you can mention hyphen hyphen save. So now you see we have, it has installed express 4.17.1. Right, so that's what it's installed. It it says installed. We can see here that it has installed all the necessary packages. All right, cool. So that's all we need. Now let's go ahead and what we'll do once this installation is done. How do we know that it is correct? Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it index.js. Right. Remember all the files will be .js or efx. I'll cover that all of that later. But for for now. Let's stick to simple index.js, right? So we need to copy this code, right? Um, don't worry, don't even think about it uh, at this point of time, because like I said, I will help you uh, each line by line, I will help you. But first let me write it down for you so you know that um, how to, how to um, just run this app and make sure that it's running. That's what we were trying to do here, nothing else, right? So app dot get and we'll give a path. It, it will take a request and a response um, parameter, right? And there would be a request and a response, right? So this will always take two parameters, request and response. I'll, I'll explain all of this in the next episode. For now, stay with me and let's just run it as it is, okay? All right, so what we have here, we have an express and we have an app and we have created a simple dummy route which says slash, okay? Now this is all we need and last we need is app.listen to port number. So I'm giving port number 4000. By default, it is 3000. So when you see most tutorials or anywhere, the default documentation, it will tell you uh, this. 
So now what we'll do, we'll say node, give right here node, and then write index.js. And now you would see that it is listening on port number. Okay, so it says express is double S, right? Okay. Okay, so now let's run. It should say that it's listening on port number 3000. So it will start the server internally. It will get, it will internally what it is doing is it is calling the node HTTP dot create server method and it is getting that server up and running for us. All right, so let's just give it a minute. Let's see what happened. It should be up soon or maybe what we'll do is um, instead of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write node and I'm going to run index.js. Let's see why this is not um, or maybe the port might be occupied. So let me try that. Okay, so now what we'll do, uh, we'll open our uh, local host and what we'll do is local host 42. So you see now it says local host 4000, our hello world output is coming out, right? That's because it's running on this. So now I'm, I'm going to change this and say get users as the endpoint. So now you can say slash get users. Now you cannot get it because you need to restart it. Okay, so now we have started it. Now it says hello world, right? So this is how easy it is to configure and get started with ExpressJS. Don't worry about whatever code you're seeing here. Your focus of this episode is to just install ExpressJS successfully in your local, right? In the next episode, I'm going to help you walk through each line of code, explain you what it does, and that will give you confidence to start writing your own APIs. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.